Ladies and gentlemen, coaches, uh, welcome to the uh, 2021 uh, season of the uh, National Air Rifle New Shooter League and the National Air Pistol League. You are joining us today for the coaches conference for the said two above leagues. And welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Eric Anshin. I am both the owner of the Orion Scoring System and the League, Am league Administrator for uh, the New Shooter and Air Pistol Leagues. Uh, today, uh, this coaches meeting, a couple of logistics while a few more people are logging on. Um, I am going to try to keep the meeting to about uh, 30 minutes. Uh, some of that will depend on what questions you have. Uh, today's topics will be specific to the uh, uh, new shooter and air pistol leagues. Um, I did decide this year to combine the coaches meeting for the two leagues. Um, uh, I will, as we go on, if there is information that is specific to one league or the other, uh, try to point that out. But almost everything in today's coaches meeting does pertain to uh, both uh, leagues. And like I said, unless I otherwise say so. Um, I do encourage everyone to ask questions as we go through. This information is for you. It is meant to help you uh, succeed in the league. Uh, to ask a question, please use the YouTube uh, chat box, um, either myself uh, or one of my colleagues who is moderating uh, the chat box will get back to you. And uh, for those of you who are unable to attend, uh, we will have today's uh, broadcast recorded and we will be uh, sending it out uh, to all of the coaches. All right, a couple of statistics uh, for the uh, leagues. Uh, this is the fourth year that we are running the Air Pistol and uh, New Shooter League. Um, due to the uh, pandemic, we were kind of expecting the numbers to be down this year, and, and they were. Um, at the New Shooter League, we have uh, 31 teams uh, with the estimated 261 athletes being uh, participating. And on the Air Pistol side, uh, we have uh, six teams uh, with uh, 72 athletes. Um, while the numbers are down this year, um, I will have to say that we did have a lot of the top teams uh, returning, uh, especially in the Air Pistol League. Pretty much all of the top teams from last year uh, came back to uh, partic participate this year. All right. Um, every year I try to, uh, 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 one of the first things I try to do is highlight the differences from this season with the past seasons. And uh, this season, uh, we'd really been making changes to the rules, um, but we did make some changes uh, to try to anticipate the uh, disruptions that are caused by uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. And the pandemic is, of course, uh, uh, absolutely terrible and has um, yes, nothing, nothing good to be said about it. Um, and during the season, uh, one of the uh, things that we are anticipating is that there are going to be disruptions. There are going to be teams who have to isolate, who can't come to the range. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, that's a fact of life, and we all have to work together to kind of uh, alleviate that. Um, so to kind of help manage those anticipated disruptions, we did change the league's schedule uh, in two ways. Uh, the first way is... Uh, instead of an eight-game, ten-week schedule, we went to a seven-game, uh, ten-week schedule. So each team has an additional bye week. And we did that to allow for schedule changes. Uh, again, we are anticipating multiple schedule changes, uh, sometimes in the last minute. Um, and we want to work, work around that. Uh, so to help us uh, with those schedule changes, we added that uh, uh, third bye week for each team. Um, and then the second thing we did is we actually added a 11th week uh, to the schedule. And that 11th week is reserved exclusively for uh, games that have to be uh, rescheduled. Uh, we won't um, in and of itself schedule anyone on the 11th week except unless it's a, a rescheduled game. And I, I do want to kind of you know, point out my policy uh, for... Uh, how we're going to deal with uh, these schedule changes uh, due, due to the pandemic. Um, we have always, and in this league, uh, defaulted to trying, trying to work with the teams to allow them to uh, participate. And we want, we want to maintain that philosophy of working with you to allow you to participate. Um, so 
if something comes up where, uh, like I said, uh, your, your team has to isolate, members of your team has to isolate, um, let us know as soon as, as you can. Uh, we will work with you to reschedule that game. Uh, with that said, though, um, there may be uh, cases where we have to cancel a game uh, due to, uh, uh, you know, again, teams having to isolate themselves. So, um, you know, like I said, that's our policy. We're going to work with you to try to uh, allow everyone to participate. Um, worst case scenario, uh, we will cancel games uh, on an as-needed basis. All right, um, so now going on to some of the more, more pressing, more, some of the more uh, uh, uplifting stuff. Um, eligibility for the uh, two leagues. Uh, for the new shooter league, um, eligibility is based on three things. Uh, number one, uh, you have to be eligible underneath the uh, national three position air rifle rules. And this basically says uh, you have to be a high school age athlete or younger. Um, the new shooter league is for sporter class athletes only. And then number three, you you know, as the name name implies, you have to be a new shooter. And there's a couple of different ways in which uh, uh, around the country uh, new shooters are um, uh, defined. Uh, we have chosen to define a new shooter as anyone who shot their first air rifle or small bore rifle match after uh, August 1st of 2020, which does uh, purposely uh, correspond to the uh, school year. And we do actually make uh, some exceptions um, if. Uh, someone was a BB gun shooter is probably the most common one. Um, uh, having shot in a BB gun match uh, doesn't eliminate your eligibility in the new shooter league. You are still able to participate. Uh, same way with like air pistol or high power. Uh, so those are the eligibility for the uh, new shooter league. On the air pistol league, much more open. Uh, matter of fact, pretty much anyone can participate in the uh, air pistol league. It is for both uh, juniors and open age group athletes. All right, uh, the season. Uh, the season is broken down into uh, two parts. Uh, the first part is going on now, and that is the preseason. Um, every team who has registered for the uh, uh, New Shooter or Air Pistol League is, has been invited to participate in the uh, preseason. It is not uh, uh, required by any, um, um, you know, it's not, it's not, not required in any way, uh, but we do recommend teams participate in the uh, preseason match. It allows you to uh, kind of get used to, to the rules. It allows you to, um, maybe you haven't been using Orion for a while, so it kind of re uh, helps remind you how to use Orion to upload scores. Um, and it's, you know, just a practice match in a sense for your team. And then the regular season is, like I said, uh, 10 weeks plus one, um, uh, 10 weeks long, starting on Monday. Uh, most weeks during the regular season, your team will have uh, one game to participate, or you'll have a bye week. Um, and uh, uh, all teams has have three bye weeks. Uh, when you registered uh, for the uh, for, for the league, you had an opportunity opportunity to select which bye weeks you wanted to have for your team. Um, you still have an opportunity to uh, select those bye weeks if you haven't done so, but please do so today. Uh, you can go back to the registration email and there will be a link that you can click on uh, to open up and uh, select your bye weeks. And if you don't select a bye week, we'll basically select them for you. Um, and uh, like I said, uh, the there is a 11th week this season, uh, but that is reserved exclusively for uh, rescheduled games. And then during the season itself, uh, all of the scheduling of the games are is dynamic. And I'll talk to you about what uh, dynamic scheduling means in a few slides. All right, again, um, like I said, uh, there's going to be one game each week for each, each of your teams. And for the purpose of the league, um, a week is defined as Monday through Sunday. That means the uh, game is going to be released on Monday, and you'll have until Sunday to turn in your scores, shoot and to turn in your scores. Uh, on the uh, New Shooter League, uh, the Course of Fire is a 3x10 scored in decimal, and we are being governed by the National Standard 3 Position Air Rifle Rules. Uh, for coaches who may not uh, may not have uh, uh, saw the emails that went out, uh, there is a new version of the rulebook. Honestly, not a lot changed from the previous one, but we are using the uh, uh, 2020 to 2022 edition of the uh, uh, National 3 Position Air Rifle Rules. Uh, air pistol. Uh, the course of fire is 60 shots, um, and we are governed by uh, USA shooting. Uh, 
Again, uh, just in case some, uh, for those of you may not be uh, familiar, the reason we went to 60 Shots on the Air Pistol League is because USA Shooting, uh, for both men and women, the standard course of fire now is 60 Shots. Uh, because, we because we follow the USA Shooting rules, uh, we too went to the 60 Shot uh, course of fire. Um, all games uh, will be virtual. Uh, so what that means is um, <clears throat> you will, your team will shoot from your home range. And then the team that you're shooting against that week will also shoot from their home range. And uh, uh, using Orion's virtual match technology, uh, both scores will get uploaded. And you'll be able to see um, virtually uh, how you did uh, against uh, the team that you're competing that week. Uh, with that said, though, um, uh, there are teams who have in the past wanted to shoot in a more traditional shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder competition. Um, if that is you, um, we can... We can uh, set that up in, in the schedule itself, but please let us know ahead of time. Uh, we need a, at least a week to uh, set that up. Uh, again, I leave it to you, the coaches, to decide that. Uh, but if you do decide to want to have a more shoulder to shoulder and geographically you can, we can, we can help you out. And then finally, uh, for games, all scoring needs to be done uh, electronically uh, using um, Orion, Athena, or whatever uh, uh, ESC system uh, you may have. All right, uh, in a game, um, uh, in a game, uh, one of your responsibilities as coaches is to uh, schedule a time for your team to shoot. And uh, like I said, you have the entire week, uh, Monday through Sunday, to schedule your team to shoot. And uh, some coaches will have the entire team shoot at the same time. That's a okay. Um, some other coaches, maybe they have a smaller range. And they have to divide their team up into like two sets. And you could have half of your team shooting on Tuesday, for example, and the other half of your team shooting on Thursday. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that too is, is okay. Um, because again, you have the entire week to schedule and to shoot your scores. Now, what is not allowed is for you to try to have your team uh, shoot your league game twice and try to get the highest scores. Um, um, Something I'm not really proud of, but every year we seem to uh, catch a team try to do this, and that is a, illegal. Uh, so again, as coaches, uh, schedule your team to shoot uh, the, the, the one time, upload your scores, and you have until Sunday uh, to to do that. Um, I did have a question that came in with respect to when will the schedule be released, and this is perfect timing for the question because that is what this slide is going to be uh, uh, talking about. Um, so the schedule uh, for the first two weeks of the league, uh, we're going to uh, schedule it uh, tomorrow, Friday, and we'll send an email out uh, for the first two weeks of the league uh, uh, tomorrow. And the first two weeks of the league, the scheduling is completely random. Uh, you could get scheduled against the two best teams in the league, uh, you could get scheduled against two teams that are brand new. Uh, so the first two weeks, again, completely 100% random. And then starting with the third week, uh, we schedule uh, teams, we kind of pair teams up uh, based on how they did on the first week. Um, and in as much as we are capable of doing, uh, like I said, we do try to pair teams up with uh, teams of similar skill level. And uh, like I said, we start start that with uh, week number three. And again, on week number four, we do that again, but based on results from weeks one and two. And this goes on for the entirety of the league. So what that means is by the end of the league, uh, the top two, three, four teams are all competing against each other. And the teams that are, are like still developing are all competing against each other. Um, I will say uh, that is our goal, but uh, there are some things that... Uh, um, we have additional goals as well uh, with respect to scheduling. Uh, the big one is we still want a diversity of, of, of competitions. It would be really, really boring if the top two teams competed against each other every week. Uh, so we do have this uh, uh, secondary idea of uh, creating uh, uh, a diversity of competitions, which means you will be competing against uh, different teams in the league. Uh, with that said, uh, we also do try to prevent teams from competing, two teams from competing twice in the same season. Uh, and as much, again, as uh, we are able to do within the confines of the league. Um, and I will say with that, once again, uh, air pistol teams, uh, the air pistol leagues, 
Um, because there are only six teams and there are seven games um, based on the pigeonhole principle, um, uh, you will be competing against uh, at least two teams uh, twice during the league. Um, small number of teams, uh, so yeah, that's, that, um, uh, that will happen in the Air Pistol uh, League itself. And then the final note about uh, uh, scheduling games during the season. Uh, we do stop scheduling teams if they have two or more DNSs during the season. Uh, DNS is a did not start. So if your team just doesn't compete one week and then the next week, uh, we, we drop you from the schedule. That's not fair for the other teams who are competing. All right, um, both leagues, um, the rankings are done by what we call league points. And it, the basic principle works the same way. Uh, your team earns league points based on two criteria. First, your seasonal average that you accumulate during, during the league. And then second, you in effect get uh, bonus points each week if your team uh, wins in your weekly game. Uh, on, on the uh, new shooter side, um, you, you get uh, 10, 10 points for a win. And on the air pistol side, because it is a, a, a longer course of fire, um, you get 15 points. Um, there's, no, uh, there's no penalty for, for a loss, uh, but if your team does not shoot that week, um, the, uh, uh, there is a penalty for the uh, DNS. Um, one of the things that means is one of the keys to success is to make sure you uh, shoot and turn in your scores every week. You don't want to have a DNS. And then, uh, 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 again, unfortunately, this does happen about once a season. Uh, if, if a team has to be uh, disqualified for uh, rule violations, uh, there's kind of a big penalty uh, for that uh, DSQ. And then um, we do have uh, added tie-breaking rules if uh, two teams do have the same lead points. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure we ever had to employ the tie-breaking rules uh, before. All right, how to participate. Um, a couple of different resources that we have for you to uh, teach you how to, how, to, how to participate. First of all, um, you're all logged into our YouTube live stream. On this same channel, uh, there is a YouTube video on specifically how to participate in a league. And for, especially for those of you who are new to Orion or are new to the league, I strongly encourage you to uh, um, um, uh, watch that uh, uh, video. And um, I, I realized as I was getting, getting, getting these presentation together, I hadn't actually sent, sent a link out to the video. I will be sure to do that uh, by the end of the day uh, tomorrow. Um, and then the second resource uh, I ha we have is the uh, what we call the uh, Instructions and Range Command uh, Manual. Uh, this is, depending on if it's an air rifle or pistol, about a 15 to 20 page uh, booklet. And it has both the instructions on how to participate in a league game and the range commands. And do strongly encourage you to use the range commands uh, just to make and one more way to make sure that every team is playing from the same um, uh, equal uh, playing field. Um, again, as a reminder, uh, each game will be available uh, noon on Monday. Uh, it does take us a little bit of time every Monday during the league to uh, release the games. It's not automatic. It's something that we have to do. Uh, so please be a little bit patient on Monday mornings, uh, but we will try to have the games released by uh, noon. Um, and uh, uh, for those of you shooting on paper targets, uh, please hand out the targets just prior to, uh, uh, to, to shooting. Uh, in the range command manual, that actually does have, ha we do have a line item where you re uh, hand out the targets. And then uh, be sure to collect the targets immediately after each stage. Uh, in, in the new shooter league, that's prone standing and kneeling, collect targets after each stage. In the air pistol league, uh, you can collect targets at the end since it really is just a single stage. All right, after your team has shot, after your, you have uh, scored your targets, um, Orion will automatically upload the scores for you, but this is one of the most important parts of participating. Check that the scores got uploaded successfully. When you, um, um, I have highlighted here in red, the uh, little globe icon in Orion. When you click on that, that opens up a web browser. And you should see a page, kind of like the one that you see listed here. You're going to see your team listed, and you're going to see the team that you're competing against listed. Um, make sure you see both, 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 both your team and the team that you're competing against. And under your team, you want to make sure that your scores are listed there. 
Uh, the other team may not have shot yet, so they may or may not have scores, but you want to make sure that your team has your scores listed. Very, very important step to do each week. Um, one other thing that we're going to do to make sure that uh, to help make sure that you turned in your scores correctly is on Fridays, uh, we will be sending an email uh, letting to the coaches to let you know what scores we have for you at for your team at that time. Um, keep in mind that, uh, again, scores are due on Sunday and we're sending this out on Friday as a reminder. So if you normally don't shoot until Saturday. Uh, this email is going to tell you that we don't have any scores and that's okay because it got sent out on Friday and you shoot on Saturday. That's no problem. But let's say that your team shot on Tuesday and you get this email and it says you don't have any scores. That's a problem. Uh, give our uh, support line a call uh, so we can help you get those scores uploaded uh, successfully. And uh, many of you are teachers, and I know one, one, of, the, one of the great uh, things that teachers do is dur during lectures is the most important things they keep reiterating time and time and time and again. And uh, this is the part where I get to reiterate the same thing over and over again, because uh, it is crucial to the league. Uh, scores are due Sunday at midnight. Um, if you have uh, something that comes up, again, uh, the coronavirus, uh, you may have to isolate kind of at, at the last moment. Uh, there are, uh, during the spring league, we often get uh, snowstorms that uh, uh, games have to be rescheduled. I understand. We'll work with you. But it is, it is important that you let me know as soon as possible so we can work with you to get um, uh, a, a schedule change. If we don't hear from you and you don't turn your scores in, we have to assume that you didn't shoot. So scores are due Sunday at midnight. If for some reason you can't uh, 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 shoot that week, um, at the last moment, let us know as soon as possible so we can still work with you. Uh, and during the, during the year, like I said, uh, there will always be some uh, uh, special circumstances that come up. Uh, we'll try to highlight some of them. Um, scheduling conflicts. Uh, again, many of you are uh, uh, high schools and you might have uh, uh, spring breaks during the year. Uh, please um, let us know what bye weeks you, you, you want now. So we can build that into the schedule. Uh, the sooner you can let, let us know any of that information, the more we are able to help you out. Um, and like I said, the best case scenario is you let us know at least a one week ahead of time. Again, I recognize that uh, uh, due to the uh, pandemic, that's not always going to be possible, uh, but uh, please work with us uh, so we can help you out. Uh, if uh, you do have two games in a week, that's only going to happen if there's a schedule change. Uh, but if you do have two games in a week, uh, your team does have to shoot uh, uh, two courses separately. You can't shoot once and have it count twice. And then under extreme condition, um, uh, just to remind everybody, uh, we do have the authority to cancel a game if necessary. Um, it, does, it, it has happened, um, again, due to the coronavirus. Uh, unfortunately, that might have to happen again this year. Uh, we kind of use this as a last resort, uh, but I do want to make uh, all the coaches aware of the fact that if warranted, uh, we do have the authority to cancel a game. All right, awards. Um, something much more uplifting. Um, so every year, uh, the uh, uh, participation awards will get sent out. Um, every team is going to get a, a league banner. Um, for the New Shooter League, in the past, we have sent out posters. Um, kind of the economics of making posters versus banners is kind of interesting. Uh, for smaller numbers, like we have this year, it's actually less expensive to create banners. Only when you have lots and lots of teams is it uh, more economical to create uh, posters. So, um, some good news is every, every team actually gets a banner this year. Um, and um, every participant, every athlete, uh, we'll be sending out uh, participation pins and a league sticker for your uh, rifle or pistol. Um, I do have apologize here. I have a note that this will be get, uh, sent out on Friday. Uh, that is incorrect. We are waiting for the banners to come in first before sending this out. We hope to have the banners in in about uh, three to four weeks. Just as soon as we do, we'll send out uh, your team uh, participation banner and the uh, uh, particip participation awards for your uh, athletes. Now, for the end-of-season awards, um, in the uh, 
Let me just say the Air Pistol League first because it's much easier to uh, to put this. Uh, the top three teams in the Air Pistol League uh, will send out uh, medals and uh, additional banner uh, for the top three teams in the Air Pistol League. In the New Shooter League, um, this is one of my favorite things about the New Shooter League. Um, because we are emphasizing, you know, it is a New Shooter League, so we are trying to encourage athletes who are, who are young in the development. Um, we actually have... Um, uh, we actually try to hand out as many awards as we can. And those awards are based on uh, three things. Uh, number one, if your team wins four more games. Number two, if you participate in all seven games during the season. And number three, if you show improvement. So if your team managed to get two of those three criteria, uh, we will uh, give you end of season awards. And um, like I said, one of the great things about this new shooter league is it's possible, hasn't happened, but it is possible that we hand out awards to every team in the New Shooter League. Uh, again, because uh, to get that, uh, you just have to participate and show improvement, which means basically, you know, practice during your days off and uh, uh, get better during the season. And I'll show a slide in just a moment how we calculate that uh, metric. Um, and the last thing I want to say here, again, for the end of season awards, uh, based on the competition, um, uh, we will also, if your team is eligible, we'll also give you a second banner uh, to uh, um, you know hang in your range. All right, uh, for the uh, new shooter league, this is how we calculate the improvement award. Again, it's based on your team's seven scores. Uh, we will drop the uh, lowest score um, uh, during the season. Then we use uh, what we, uh, in Excel. It's called the Linus function. It's a statistical function, but it uh, measures. What this Linus function does is it measures your team improvement over the week, excuse me, over the season, and it comes up with a uh, points per week improvement. And if uh, we, we use a metric of five points or better improvement each week, if you came to do that, if your team can do that, uh, you would be eligible for this metric. Um, just as references to give you an idea as to how easy or hard it is to meet that metric, um, in years past, uh, most teams actually improve uh, close to 10 points per game, and we're only requiring an improvement of 5 points per game. All right, uh, during the league itself, uh, the couple things that we do to um, both promote your team and the league itself, um, every week we do send out uh, press releases, and uh, we do make these available to your local uh, uh, newspapers. Um, if in the time that you registered, if you were able to um, uh, give us the email address of a local newspaper, there or a sports department, we will copy um, your local newspaper uh, with the press releases. And a lot of the, especially the smaller newspapers do pick up, up do pick up on these stories. And we've seen cases where um, um, the uh, reporters will actually call up the coaches and uh, request interviews with both you and your team. Uh, so it's a great way to help uh, promote uh, uh, your team. And then uh, the other thing that we do is, uh, well, okay, we'll put, put, post these on uh, Facebook as well. And then uh, the other thing that we do is uh, we request uh, team photos from each of you. And again, we'll, we, will, we will make these team photos available to uh, uh, the press under when they request it. And we also put it up on our Facebook pages and, and the team page itself. Uh, for the team photos, again, we request that uh, the coaches send us in. Uh, please include all of your team members. Um, if you have uh, team colors, team jackets, uh, please include those as well. And uh, coaches, you're, you're invited to be part of these uh, photos um, in, in addition. All right, uh, team coaches, um, here is kind of a list of uh, the responsibilities you have during the season itself. Uh, first and foremost, you are responsible for being familiar with the league program and the league roles. This presentation is to help you uh, uh, with that responsibility. Uh, you're responsible for conducting each game according to the national standard three business and for rules under the, for the New Shooter League or the USA Shooting Rules if you are part of the Air Pistol League. Um, you're responsible for scheduling uh, each game for your team during the uh, time frame of the week. Again, that's Monday through Sunday. Scores are due Sunday at midnight. Uh, you are uh, responsible for the correct use of Orion, as well as if you're using an EST system, you're responsible for the correct use of the EST system. And 
you're responsible for uh, contacting um, uh, myself or my team if something unusual happens during uh, the, the season. I promise you, every year something unusual does happen, uh, more so this year than, than any others. Uh, again, we will work with you to allow your team to participate, but we need your help to let us know when something happens. Then, of course, the honesty and integrity of your team. Um, again, not something I really like to uh, uh, mention, but unfortunately every year we have caught teams uh, cheating. Uh, we don't like the fact that we've done this, but we have. And um, hey, look, it's not, it's not good for the league, it's not good for uh, your team. And uh, you know, for many of you, uh, um, you know, you're, you're coaches. You're trying to, um, one of the things that you're trying to do is to uh, promote sportsmanship uh, with your athletes. And um, um, it's just better for everyone uh, when we are, we, we are successful at doing that. A uh, couple of notes about the uh, score integrity. Uh, we do check scores every week. Uh, we do. Uh, um, uh, we don't have the resources to check every score that every target that that gets shot, but we do randomly check uh, scores every week. And uh, if you have questions about how how to correctly use Orion, or if you have questions about how a, a particularly uh, 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 score violation needs to be applied, the most common one is an extra shot fired. Give our offices a call, and we'll help you out. Uh, but we do uh, double check that uh, for teams each week. Um, coaches contact information. Uh, when I first started this league, this would have been about five years ago, um, some of the coaches came to me and they were asking me for the contact information of the other coaches. And their intentions were really good. They wanted to reach out to the other teams and just say hello, uh, say a little bit about uh, who they are. Um, you know, wish them luck and um, congratulate them uh, when, when they won. And this was a great idea, but at that very first season, I didn't really have the mechanism to do that. And uh, so what we have done in years since is uh, stated in the league program, and right now, uh, that uh, we will be sharing your contact information with the other coaches in the league. And the purpose of this is, again, just so you, the coaches can uh, communicate with each other, reach out, you know, uh, again, demonstrate good sportsmanship, wish, wish each other luck, tell, you know, your opposing team a little bit about yourself. Um, you know, we've, in the past, we've had uh, teams from South Africa, we've had teams from Hawaii, we have teams from Alaska. Um, so just t tell a little bit about your team and, um, you know, it helps make this a bit more, um, you know, roll a smaller and better place. Um, both your email address and your phone number will be provided um, in, in this list. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. If you choose not to be part of this list, we will respect that. Let us know and we'll remove your name from uh, what is being sent. And we do ask all the coaches, be respectful of the privacy of your fellow coaches. Uh, use this information for, the, for its intended purposes. Uh, to spread sportsmanship. Uh, don't use it for any other uh, purposes other, other than that. And we're getting to the, getting to the end here, uh, some, some hints to success. Um, remember that teams are ranked uh, partially by win, win and losses. Um, and a win at the start of the season counts just as much as a win at the end, end of the season. So one of, the thing, one of that means is even if your team drops a couple of games at the beginning of the season, um, you still have the rest of the season to, to make up for that. And I've seen a lot of teams be, be able to do that. Um, and the other thing that means is, um, uh, like I said, uh, every week be sure to compete uh, because a DNS, it did not start, actually hurt your team a lot worse than uh, shooting poorly. So you want to make sure that you compete every week and get your team's scores turned in. Then um, the, the, kind of the final hints to success, and uh, I've seen this a lot. Um, um, teams that succeed during the league aren't really the teams that start out well. They're actually the teams that work hard and get better and, and improve. Um, and so if you want your team to do well, you know, take up, you know, use this league as a motivation to, to practice and to get better. And I've, again, I've seen a lot where uh, the teams that uh, are successful are the teams that uh, uh, improve and work hard. All right, with that, that is all the information I had uh, prepared to uh, uh, work with you. Um, to, to present to you today. Um, again, um, 
I have listed on the uh, uh, slide here the uh, links to our, our league pages and our Facebook page. If you have questions about uh, the league itself, please email us or uh, 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 call our offices and we will be sure to help you out. Uh, again, a couple of final reminders. If you have not selected your bye weeks, uh, you still have time to do, do so. Go back to that uh, registration email. There will be a link there that you can click on to select your bye weeks. We need that information as soon as possible. Um, uh, be sure to uh, participate every week during during the season. There will be seven games in the ten weeks. Um, we'll release games on Monday. You have until Sunday to turn them in. Double and triple check that you got your scores turned in. And um, um, if uh, something comes up during the season, uh, your team is unable to uh, participate uh, for whatever reason, uh, give us a call as soon as possible so we can work with you. Uh, like I said, we want to make sure that your team has the opportunity to compete. If Again, if you have any questions, give us a call. And uh, one last time, good luck to each of you and to your teams.